Before starting I would ask you to subscribe to channel and like video. An asteroid hurtling through space at more than 16,800 miles per hour will narrowly miss the Earth. NASA's asteroid trackers have found. The imposing space rock, dubbed by NASA Asteroid 2019 CL2, is bound for a so-called Earth close approach. NASA's asteroid trackers expect the space rock to zip by in the afternoon hours of Monday, March 18. According to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, the asteroid's closest flyby will occur around 5.33 p.m. As it dashes past the Earth, the JPL thinks the asteroid will reach speeds of around 16,866.5 miles per hour, or 7.54 kilometers per second. In the event that the asteroid hits the Earth tomorrow, 99% chance to hit the Earth is April 22, 2019, just over a month. And based on the JPL's calculations, the asteroid measures somewhere between 183.7 feet and 393.7 feet or 56 meters to 120 meters in diameter. An asteroid at the upper end of this estimate is approximately 60 times as long as a queen-size bed and 11 times longer than a London double-decker bus. Compared to a Volkswagen Beetle car, the asteroid is approximately 29.4 times longer. Towards the lower end of NASA's size estimate, the colossal space rock is still about 6.5 times the length of a double-decker bus. But is there any risk of the asteroid slamming into the Earth next week? Asteroid CL2 is a so-called near-Earth object, NEO, meaning its orbit occasionally cuts into the Earth's own journey around the Sun. When NEOs are detected on a close approach path past the Earth, they are followed by NASA's asteroid tracking systems. This does not, however, spell any immediate danger for the Earth's safety. Even at its closest, asteroid CL2 will miss the Earth by a distance of more than 2.4 million miles or 3.9 million kilometers. NASA explained, as they orbit the Sun, near-Earth objects can occasionally approach close to Earth. Note that a close passage astronomically can be very far away in human terms, millions or even tens of millions of kilometers. On Monday, the NASA tracked steroid will approach the Earth from a distance of 0.02615 astronomical units. One astronomical unit measures about 93 million miles or 149.6 million kilometers, which is the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Asteroid CL2 will considerably trim this down this week to just 2.43 million miles or 3.91 million kilometers. This is the equivalent of 10.18 times the gap between the Earth and the Moon. After the asteroid zips past Earth, CL2 is expected to visit the Earth again this year on August 7 this year. The space rock will then pass Mars on October 11, 2026, and swing by Earth again on February 2, 2030. One could imagine slightly small, larger ones exploding over cities. Uh, the devastation could actually be quite enormous. Okay? Fortunately, the odds of that happening are fairly low, but they're not zero, and that's why uh, it's important to be able to find these objects. In order to prevent this type of devastation, NASA has unveiled a 20-page plan to protect Earth and predict the changes for a threat from a near-Earth object. The plan details steps the U.S. needs to take to be prepared for objects such as asteroids that come within 30 million miles of the planet. The administration outlines five goals, the first to enhance detection and tracking capabilities, improve prediction, develop technology for deflecting near-Earth objects, increase international cooperation, and strengthen emergency procedures. Lindley Johnson, NASA's planetary defense officer at NASA headquarters, said, quote, Implementing the National Near-Earth Object Preparedness Strategy and Action Plan will greatly increase our nation's readiness and work with international partners to effectively respond should a new potential asteroid impact be detected.
forget, leave like and subscribe.